have two passions, education and cooking. And I really want to put these two together for the community. Cut those into a body, yeah. Kumar Vikrama oh Singha God. started the Elliott Test Kitchen in Fort Madison because he wanted kids to have a place to go for extra help after school. Kumar comes from Sri Lanka, a country that deeply values education. Okay, so what I want you, two of you to do is like a pick the tomato, I want you to pick the basil. So get all the red ones, all the tomatoes. My goal is after school, I want any kids who need help with any kind of schoolwork, math, science, I want them to come here. But at the same time, I have teachers come here. So I bring them both of them in here, and I use the food as a binding agent, practically a bait to get them in here. In exchange for their time, teachers who volunteer get to enjoy a delicious meal prepared by the students. Cold water, ladies and gentlemen. A former chef, okay. Kumar yes, enjoys I teaching the kids how to prepare and appreciate healthy meals and hanging, snacks. The kids who's going to help me cook are the ones who do not have any homework or who get their homework done fast or who really likes to cook. So the main goal is, if you come here, you have a lot of homework you need to be doing, and uh, you are more than welcome to sit and get your homework done, because education is the number one priority here. Put, put a little bit more to the top. There we go, perfect. We're gonna be cooking uh, fried strawberries as a dessert, but then also we'll be making BLT pasta salad, which yeah. we're gonna be using fresh tomatoes right out of our backyard. In the morning, I go around all the grocery stores local, and I found the uh, best deal and what's the freshest and what kids gonna like. That excites me to tell the kids, hey, I'm keep feeding all of you, and this is how much it costs, but look how good it is. There you go, man. Put half and half into each one. In math, I like had a B plus, and then I got up to like the A plus, which is like a big difference for me. I really like doing desserts because it's kind of like an art to me, like the way you can like move the whooping cream in like a certain direction and like the drizzling of the chocolate. It's kind of cool to see like me make something and then have people eat something that I actually made. When the homework is done and the food is ready, it's time to eat. The teachers take time to celebrate successes and everyone sits together as a family. All right, kids, come on in. Okay. We come from a low socioeconomic status area. When you have people that are invested in young people, that's what can make all the difference in their lives. You see that with some of the kids that Kumar has taken on that um, help him cook. I mean, these kids just blossom in front of your eyes. They have talents and abilities that nobody knew that they had. A lot of our kids don't even sit down at a table and eat at, at night. And so they have a place where they can sit, they can learn you know, what proper table etiquette is, what it is like to have conversations with adults and things like that. So it hits so many different social skills, employability skills, educational skills that they're going to need for the rest of their life. Following the meal, Kumar has a second group of students preparing for the ACT college admissions test. This is considered one of my greatest accomplishments at this place. My goal was to get a 15 kids, and we are right now at 25 kids. It might be even 27 kids. So it's very humbling to see this need and that people taking advantage of it. The test kitchen is Kumar's way of giving back to the community that helped him when he first arrived. And he doesn't want it to stop here. I wanted these kind of things popping up every single small town in Iowa. And that's my dream.